It's an honor, a privilege, and a dream come true, for sure. Childhood dream come true. Just, um, yeah, I always enjoy the opportunity to get to know the players, uh, get to know who they are, and identify if, uh, you know, they're the, uh, they're, 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 they're Steelers that we want to be Steelers. I think we look at each case individually and um, give uh, every player the opportunity to prove himself. Now, ex explain your question again. Say, like, LSU defensive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's if, if I was a quarterback, I would want to know if you want to talk to the I think um, I think every every year presents uh, a new opportunity at, at different schools. But yeah, it's it's always cool to see the schools that uh, to be a part of schools that have produced uh, uh, players um, at, at the same position year after year. Go. Looking at uh, reading about Andy and looking at the Eagles. Yeah, I mean, I get the question. Uh, I'm always looking at it as. Build. Building both lines. Lines. Yeah. Um, you know, you look at you guys look at the Steeler history. That's always been a, a big part of the uh, of uh, our uh, our winning teams has always been the, uh, the the O line and the D line and the big guys. And uh, I think Philadelphia. I can't speak for. Uh, Philadelphia, but I think that was a big part of theirs also. You know, Andy's got a, a lot of niches. Uh, I've known Andy for a long time, and we, we talk uh, about uh, different priorities. And, uh, you know, I, I'd say he's got a, a, a lot of niches. Uh, so. Omar, how important was it to bring in Andy for you to have a season to do what you so it was. Um, I'm I'm very fortunate to have such a uh, a great staff around me. Um, you know, Andy, I've known for a long time, um, but also uh, having uh, Sheldon White, has been a great addition for us. Uh, uh, Mark Sadowski uh, promoted Dan Colbert and Cole Marku, and I've been very fortunate that I have a, a great nucleus of guys um, that I can lean on and, and and consult with and talk to, and uh, I've been I've been fortunate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say it doesn't. I, um, having the, the new ideas has been great. You know, seeing how other people have done things, and we've been able to incorporate it into what we do. Um, and you know, and part of the process is also explaining to those guys how we do things at our place, and having them um, kind of gel and you know combine both. But uh, for the most part, things are very similar. So my role has obviously changed for the most part, um, more senior levels uh, things, and it's just been a natural progression, you know, with with Andy and Sheldon and Mark and and Dan and Cole. Like it's just been a natural process of uh, of uh, delegating. I'm not always the best delegator all the time, but when I when, whenever I do do, I, it's just it's just been natural. Yeah. 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 Um, we have a good feel. Um, obviously, there's still a lot of time between uh, now and the draft, but also free agency. We have a pretty good feel of what that's going to look like, and um, you know, when um, we'll, we'll see where it goes. But you know, we got a good feel of where things are. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think our, our division is pretty unique in that we got to prepare for uh, uh, three different uh, styles of football there. So it uh, puts a little bit of pressure on us, but, um, you know, we understand it and we, we, we feel like we know what we got to do. Uh, Adrian was great. You know, I, I, I loved uh, my interactions with him. Uh, I had, we had great conversations. Um, you know, hearing about his sons was great. They were around all the time. And, uh, you know, just just good person to be around. Really enjoyed it, our time with him. What did he bring to the players in his room? I, I would say, you know, he probably have to have the player, ask to play specific players. But I, I loved his energy and uh, his honesty and his demeanor was great. 
you watch the strengths. I sorry, I couldn't hear. So, you know, I'm very fortunate. It's my first draft, and as I look around, it's really strong at almost every position, uh, and that's that's obviously great for a person in my uh, in my position. But uh, I I just I just think it's uh, it's it's a great draft overall. There's some good players. I think you always, like I mentioned earlier, uh, you always try to improve every positional room when you can, um, with, with specifically to our offensive line group. You know, I, I said it, it was really encouraging to see those guys grow and just come together and just become better as the season went on. What? Yeah, I, I mean, I, obviously we have a, a starting quarterback on a rookie contract, and you know there are opportunities uh, that come with that. And um, you know, I'm not going to go into detail of uh, what specifically or how we're going to allocate things, but there's obviously opportunities uh, when. You know, you have a quarterback on a rookie, starting quarterback on a rookie contract. I mean, you have opportunities. Let me put it that way. It presents opportunities. Yeah. It's been, um, you know, coming out of COVID, a couple of those COVID seasons were, were tough cap-wise. And, you know, it's, we're, I, I think we're uh, in comfortable shape. i put it that way. You know me, Jerry. There's always been opportunity. If there's opportunity to create room, I'll find ways to create room. Yeah. Explain the question a little bit. I don't know if it necessarily interests us, but it's just, um, you know, when you're around the game so much and you understand it, I think it shows in not only the, the person in the building, but also on the football field. Um, and it's, I think when you're around, the more you're around football and around more the, you're around people that are, you know, in football, uh, it's just it's just natural. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, obviously you guys, you know, it's you have – Lamar Jackson, you guys know his style of, uh, of football, and you guys know Joe Burrow's got his style of football, and Deshaun Watson's got his style of football. We've got three great quarterbacks in our, our division, and uh, you know they're all a little different, and you have to uh, strategize for each one of them differently, and you know, it's, it's a good division. It's a great division. Lamar, you guys were obviously pretty invested in the quarterback position here last year. Fair to say a little more varied this year, and does that change anything for, me, for you guys? You, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're not. Uh, we're, we we feel really good about the quarterback position this year. Obviously, we're excited about Kenny, and uh, you know, we're not. Uh, you know, we, we have our quarterback. Oh, I, I, I would say absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That's a tough question, Aditi. Um, uh, you know, I, I think just because I had worked so closely with Kevin for so long, it's it's just been such a it's it's been such an easy transition. Um, it's it's just been natural, like like you said. It's just um, I, I just been fortunate. I was around Kevin for so long, and you know, it just came natural. Well, Mike and I was always, you know, we've known each other for so long. You know, that, that part of it was easy. I'd say with the players, I'd say, uh, I'd say the young guys, the rookies coming in, yeah, they, they, the younger guys, they, they look at me a little differently, yeah. You know, getting the uh, yes, sir, no, sir, that, that's a little weird for me, yeah. But I've had to get adjusted to that, yeah. Having that extra second round pick from the late trade, how much more aggressive does that allow you to be looking at, you know, day one moves that you guys can make or even, you know, days after? We, it gives us opportunity to do a lot of different, a lot of different things. You know, we have a lot of scenarios that we've talked about. Uh, everything's on the table right now. Um, just it gives us options. You know, and with this draft being as good as it is, it just, 
it's it's good. It's, we're excited to have it. Yeah, I mean, we we always thought very highly of Chase, uh, not only as a player but as a person. But you know, we made the trade, and it's the first pick of the second round. So, yeah, so I would say. I would expect that Ma, that that definitely will uh, possess. That that's definitely going to happen. Yeah. He he. Yeah, we we're expecting great things from Calvin. Uh, he's progressing nicely. You know, we're we're excited about uh, him being on the field here in the spring when we get back to football. Um, we're excited to have him. Oh, any opportunity we have to improve a specific room, we'll do that. So. <laughs> Aggressive. Um, I, I, would, I would say from that standpoint, yes, I probably am uh, aggressive. I'm, I'm, always, I'm, always, I'm a big believer in listening to every opportunity and then, um, you know, thinking it through, talking it over with, with uh, uh, my staff and uh, making the right decision. But, yeah, I would – yeah, I'm, o I'm open to anything. Let me put it that way. Yeah, I don't really like to use the word creative, uh, but um, – you know, if there's an opportunity to get a player uh, and we have to maneuver some things, you know, I'm, I'm going to be open to that. Um, that's not going to change. Um, you know, the, the goal is to have the, the, the best 53 players you can on your roster come opening week. And, you know, we're, we'll, we'll do what we got to do to make sure we, we have the opportunity to get those players that we want. It, it's just, I think it's part of the process and it's, it's the opportunities there. Yeah. I mean, it's. You know, I, I'd love to tell you that we're, we're never going to do those, but it's just, it's, just, it's just part of the process. It's there. It's an opportunity for us to – if there's an opportunity to create cap room, if that's how we do it, then, you know, we'll do it. It would be uh, – I'd say all options are on the table. If there's a good football player and we have the opportunity uh, to go get him, uh, you know, and we, we can get him, we're going to go get him. Um, you know, I think I think we're a unique division in that every one of the teams is built differently and um but at the end of the day you gotta score more points than than, than the uh than the team across from you. Is there anything different from Kevin that you think you'll see in this game? I think uh, uh, time will tell. Uh, I mean, Kevin and I were together for 20 plus years, so you're going to see a lot of Kevin in me. Uh, that's just natural, and I think t time will tell. You know, I think every every opportunity that comes forward, we'll we'll revit, we'll talk it over and see if it makes sense for us. What's your favorite part about this job? The new title, um, I would say, um, you know, it's been a dream come true for me since I was a kid um, to have the opportunity to, to, to build a Super Bowl uh, roster and win, win a, a few Super Bowls. So I think just the process in general, I mean, every day I go to work, it's, it's just I'm very appreciative and I love it. You know, I'm surrounded by great people, um, great head coach, great owner. Uh, great locker room, great support staff, you know, great football staff. And it's just, it's, I, it's fun. I mean, every, every day it's fun. Being here is fun, you know, and experiencing new things like this, you know, it's, it's, it's fun for me. And it's just, I know, I understand it's part of the process, but, uh, you know, just I'm looking forward to the first draft and I'm looking forward to getting back to football in uh, September. Yeah, overall, you know, I, I've said it a, a couple times. It, this is a really good draft. A lot of good football players uh, at every position. We spent a lot of time going going through it already, and um, 
just I, I think there's there's starters, there's depth, there's whatever you need you can get in this draft. It's really good. And you guys obviously Yeah, I, I think a lot of that, some of that was a function of, uh, you know, just who was up, um, you know, where we were uh, on the roster. And I would say that if there's an opportunity to uh, sign or extend a player, regardless of what side of the ball it's on, it's, it's on, it's, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be in the mix. Any surprises for you in this role as GM up to this point? It's um, a tough question. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I, it's just being around Kevin for so long and working so closely with him on a day to day basis. It was just, it, it was just natural. I mean, like I mentioned earlier, getting the no, sir, yes, sir, no, sir from people is a little, uh, uh, a little awkward. It was a little awkward, but, uh, I'd say the one thing is people are in my office a hundred times more than they were before. I mean, it's, it's, it's a constant flow. It's a revolving door. People come in my office all day. Guys, two more, two more. Did you end up now I, I moved to uh, Kevin's office. You know, did my own little renovations in there. But uh, yeah, I'm in Kevin's old office. Yeah. Who, who's that? Yeah. Yeah, the Senior Bowl for us is uh, it's, it's it's tremendous. I mean, for me, I personally, it's an opportunity to. Uh, to uh, see guys compete against some of their peers, um, it's invaluable for us. Uh, obviously, Kenny was there last year. We had the opportunity to evaluate him compared to uh, some of the other quarterbacks, top quarterbacks that were there. Uh, but the Senior Bowl for us is it's it's an invaluable process. It's part of the it's part of the process, and it's extremely important. And uh, you know, it's one of those things we look forward to every single year going back. We had a great experience there a couple of weeks ago, and uh, look forward to being there again next year. All right, thanks. Okay. I had so someone else. Oh. Uh, I mean, you just, like you just said, it's luck. You know, sometimes you can't control what injuries happen and when. It's just, it just happens. All right.